Hi, thank you so much for your time. My name is Dallin Fee. If you are a subscriber and you are on this channel, we thank you so much. And if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, we humbly entreat you to please hit the subscription button. Today we want to look at how to use the scientific calculator to solve questions involving infinity functions. So let's start. The first question says that evaluate the limit of 3x all over x plus 3 and the limit is as x approaches infinity. So to do this, you only have to enter this expression on the calculator without the limit. So this is a fraction. You click on the fraction button and then we have 3x, so alpha x and then we go down we have x, so alpha x plus 2, plus 2. Okay, now that you are done entering your data, the next thing to do is to hit the calc button. The calculator is asking you what value of x are you going to use. Now the question says the limit is as x is approaching infinity. So infinity means a very huge number. It can be 1, it can be 2. It should be very huge number. So all you simply have to do is to just hit 9. Okay, you can click 9, let's say 10 times or 11 times. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So this is a huge number. So as x is approaching infinity, then you click the equal sign button, bind, and the answer is 3. So the answer for question 1 is B. Let's go to the question 2. We are to evaluate the limit of 5x squared minus 1 all over x, 2x squared plus 1, and the limit is as x approaches infinity. So you enter the expression on the calculator. You hit the fraction button. We have 5x, so alpha x, and then you square it up, minus 1. Then you go down, we have 2x squared, so 2 alpha x, you squared it, plus 1. Okay, now because we are working in examination, please, whenever you are done, kindly cross-check what you have entered to be sure that you have done the right thing. Once you are convinced that what you have done is correct, kindly press the calc button, and then, once again, x is approaching infinity. And for infinity, as we said earlier, just enter 12 or 9 up to 12 times. Okay. So let's say with a 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. So that is infinity. Very huge number. And then you click the equal sign button and you have 5 over 2. So the option for the question 2 is the option C. Now we go to the third question. So you enter this expression on the calculator. Now we have to enter the fraction button. We have 2s cubed. So alpha x and then raise the power 3. And then we have minus 7x. So minus 7. Then alpha x. And then we have plus 3. So plus 3. You go down. And then we have s cubed. So alpha x to the power 3 and then plus 2, so plus 2, and you click the calc button, and the x is approaching infinity, so as we said earlier, just click uh, 9, 12 times, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, there is a huge number, infinity, when we click it, the answer is 2, so the correct answer for question 3 is A. The okay, so now let's go to the final question. We are to evaluate the limit of x to the power 4 minus this. Um, so we we'll have to enter this expression on the calculator. So you click the fraction button first. And then we have 2x, alpha x to the power 4. So this is the exponent. And then you click 4. You bring the cursor down. Okay, so right click. And then we have minus 3x squared. So 3 alpha x we square it up and then we have plus one so plus one you move down we are looking for six 
x to the power 4. So 6 and then x, alpha x, the exponent is here, and then you click the 4. And then make sure you bring the cursor down. Okay, then we have plus x cubed. So alpha x and then cube comes. Then we have minus 3. So minus 3x. So we have it. And you should go through it to be sure that you have entered exactly what you see in the question. Once you are convinced, you press the calc button. And we are saying that the limit as x approaches infinity is a huge number. So you click 9 12 times. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then you press the equal to sign button. So this is what we get. You okay, so you can see that clearly we are getting 0 0.33333 recurring, which actually means that the right answer is option A. Okay, so to be sure of it, you know that 1 divided by 3 is equal to that. So that is it. Thank you so much for your time. And if you have not subscribed, please do so. Have a good day. Enjoy your mathematics. Bye-bye.